designed so that when samples arrive in the laboratory, they can be seamlessly registered into the database. When the sample is registered, our technicians enter in the six-digit customer code and the four-digit asset code, which tells us exactly who and what sump the sample was taken from. When this information is entered, the system automatically populates the fluid and the test set for this asset. What you've just seen is how the system is designed to work. However, here's an example of what happens when we get an asset or a sample that has an asset number that has not been pre-registered. The customer code has gone in. However, nothing gets populated when the asset number goes in. And at the attempt of registration, we will receive an error message. When we receive samples that have improper labels, customer-made labels, or worse, no labels at all, we have to spend time to find out what these samples are and who they've come from, which causes delays in testing and ultimately results in customers not getting the information they need. We receive, on average, 100 samples a day. Any delays that we have in registration takes more time, which is really the customer's time. Once samples have been registered, testing can commence. Each sample receives five to seven tests over the course of two to three days. When testing is completed, the data will be reviewed and any results deemed questionable sent back for retesting. When the chemists in the lab are satisfied with the results, reports will be emailed to the customer. 